Hello, dear friends, and welcome back to our daily women's devotional, I Am Loved, edited by Carolyn Rathen Sutton. Today is August 24th, and the title of our devotional is God Is My Husband, written by Rachel McLean Jones. We have three Bible verses. The first one is Isaiah chapter 54, verse 5. For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The God of the whole earth shall he be called. We also have Hebrews chapter 7, verse 26. For such a high priest was fitting for us, who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and has become higher than the heavens. And our last one is Psalms chapter 37, verse 4. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. Rachel writes, I decided to go for a prayer walk instead of going to the gym. I prayed out loud and had a conversation with the Lord. I whispered, God, something is not right about my marriage. Are all marriages like this? I am not happy and I feel alone. I can't leave him just because he's a jerk. If something is going on, please reveal it to me. Amen. For 19 years, I had been mostly unhappy in my marriage. I did not consult the Lord when I married my husband and neither did he. I was eight months pregnant when we got married and wanted to soothe the embarrassment of my parents and church members. Two weeks after my prayer, I found some inappropriate texts my husband had sent to a married woman. I quickly filed for divorce. This was not the first time I had dealt with this infidelity. Months later, I found myself lonely, depressed, and broke. I cried out to the Lord and He heard my cry. I realized that God is and always was my true husband. He has never left me, cheated on me, or ridiculed me in shame and guilt. Even though I had financial problems, my children and I always had food. Even though I was lonely and depressed, I never lost my mind. This trial has taught me to wait on the Lord and not rush ahead as Abraham and Sarah did in trying to force God's plan for their lives. God tells us, My thoughts are not your thoughts nor your ways my ways, found in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. I am now hopeful for the future. I am praying and trusting that God will grant me the desires of my heart. Rachel McLean Jones is an elementary teacher in Haines City, Florida, United States of America. She has two sons, Aaron and Josiah, who love basketball. She is married to a devoted, loving man, John. She loves to cook, sing in the choir, and write. When we think of love, we automatically think of a partner. But what an amazing thing to have God as our husband. He is always faithful. He is always loving. He's always sensitive to our needs. He knows what we want before we even ask. He will never disappoint us and his love is unconditional and better yet, it's eternal. I hope that you guys meditate on this, whether you are married or you're single in your life. There is no one better to spend eternity with than Christ. I hope that you're blessed, you enjoy today's devotional, and I will see you again tomorrow.